shalom to all my brothers and sisters in Yerushua, and hello to everyone watching this. Please, before you click away, please, I'm just asking you to watch this, okay? It has an explanation about this. Anyway, this is my fourth, <laughs> believe it or not, time to try to get this out, because the enemy really does not want this to get out. My phone is giving me pitiful excuses, such as, oh, re continue recording when your phone has cooled down, when it's perfectly cooled down anyway. <sighs> anyway, it stopped my recording. So, anyway, let's continue. This is called Rebukes and Truth. It's going to be a very short video, just touching. Rebuke to the false Christians. No true follower of Yeshua or Bible-believing Christian will murder. If you are out murdering and think it is okay, you are not a follower of Yeshua. Those who went and shot people in the LGBT community were not true believers. Let me get this straight. We don't hate the sinner. We hate sin. So if you, as the LGBT community, want to call us haters, go ahead. But call us haters in the correct way. We are haters of sin and the enemy's lies. Okay. No, I still do not stand with and support the LGBT LGBT relief and still believe that God, that Yah, calls the lifestyle an abomination and sin. But what the false believers did was just as wrong. Please don't condemn the faith and all believers just because someone who claimed the faith did something like that. Sadly, Satan has used this to bring a bad face and image to all, all Bible-believing followers of Yeshua. He's using this to bring around his agenda and persecution of all the believers. Okay. Truth does hurt at times. People say we are just out to purposely hurt people with the Bible. This is not true, nor do we find pleasure in seeing the truth hurt people. We speak, share the truth, and warn out of love, not hate. Love warns. Did not even Yeshua himself love enough to warn people of hell? Yes, Yeshua in the scriptures did warn of hell. Okay. The truth is that truth does hurt our flesh at times because it exposes our sin, but it is the word of Yah that judges man, not us. Rebukes are not fun, but they are life-saving. Rebuke to the LGBT community. Media says those who follow the Bible and believe what it says are the ones who are beating on and persecuting the LGBT community. The truth, however, is the opposite. There are many more cases of the LGBT community attacking, suing, running Christians out of business, and ruining Christians' families' lives financially than there is the other way around. And all of this is done in the name of love and tolerance? What happened to tolerance to Christians? Or does only the LGBT community have the rights of the First Amendment? Amen, amendment? You say you hate hate, yet you yourself have a hatred towards Yah by living in rebellion and throwing away his laws and statues. You also act out of hate by not being satisfied until those who speak truth are completely destroyed and brought to ruin. If some of you, if you could, some of you would have them arrested and killed just to silence their voices which spread truth. So is this not hypocritical of you? Alright, I'm just getting flared up about this. Please, if you are not truly saved or living in and even supporting this sinful lifestyle, repent today and start following the true Yerushua of the Bible, who loves, warns, and rebukes. Not the culture version of Re Yerushua, who just loves, never makes anyone feel uncomfortable, never gives rebukes, and winks at sin. Sadly, the New Age religion and the One World religion is coming around so fast. Through the wolves in sheep's clothing, who are being used by Satan himself to bring people to the feet of the Antichrist and to get them to subconsciously accept the one world religion, saying that, oh, Yah is only love. He won't throw anyone in hell. Listen, he doesn't, he doesn't find joy in that, nor does he want to, but we in our sin are deserving of hell. There is a way out, though. If you only repent and turn away from your sinful lifestyle and accept Yeshua HaMashiach as Lord, Savior, and Messiah, you will be saved. That's all I have to get out today. And praise Yah, this finally got out. Thank you, Abiyahve and Yeshua and Imaya. 
for allowing this to finally get out and for binding up the enemy away from this. I wish you all well. Please do think about this. Okay, time is so short. And there is, once Yerushua, once Yerushua returns the second time, it's too late. Those who have accepted Yerushua and followed him, and those who have chosen to follow and accept the enemy, who is the god of this world, those are the choices you've made. Okay? If you're not already reprobate, there is still help. I mean, hope. Well, yeah, help and hope. Okay? Please, please turn to Yerushua and accept him. That's it for now. Thank you for watching, and God bless you all, my brothers and sisters. Goodbye.